It was a chilly October night when Sarah stumbled upon the cursed app that would change her life forever. She sat in her dimly lit room, idly scrolling through her phone when an advertisement caught her eye. What's this? Predict your death app? Sounds like nonsense. Curiosity peaked. She downloaded the app. Little did she know that this seemingly innocent decision would unravel a nightmare beyond her darkest imagination. The next day, Sarah gathered with her friends at a local cafe. She couldn't resist showing off her newfound discovery. Hey guys, check this out. I found this crazy app that predicts when you'll die. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. That's just a gimmick. It can't possibly be real. Sarah opened the app and entered her details. As the app processed, an eerie silence fell over the table. The result appeared on her screen, and it was a date just a few weeks away. That's insane. It can't be right, can it? These apps use algorithms and junk science, Sarah. Don't take it seriously. As days passed, Sarah's friends dismissed the prediction as nothing more than a scare tactic. However, one evening, they received a horrifying call. Guys, it's Lena. She, she's dead. Lena had been in a freak car accident exactly on the date the app had predicted. Panic spread among the group, but they tried to convince themselves it was a terrible coincidence. With Lena's death, the group couldn't shake their unease. The app's prediction weighed heavily on their minds. We need to get rid of that app. It's cursed, I'm telling you. I can't even delete it. It's like it's stuck on my phone. Weeks passed, and the tension in the group grew. Each of them secretly checked the app, only to find that their death dates were fast approaching. One by one, the predictions came true. First, it was Jake who met a horrifying end, just as the app foretold. This can't be happening. We have to do something. They tried contacting the police, but the death seemed impossible to explain. The cursed app's predictions became a dreaded reality, instilling fear into their hearts. Terrified and desperate, Sarah embarked on a quest to find the origins of the cursed app. She traced it back to a mysterious developer, Victor Renfield, known for his dark obsession with death. I need to confront him. Maybe he knows how to stop this. Sarah tracked Victor down to a rundown apartment building. The air was thick with an eerie silence as she knocked on his door. Ah, you must be one of the app's victims. Come in, Sarah. Sarah entered cautiously, her heart pounding. Victor's apartment was filled with macabre memorabilia and strange occult symbols. You did this. You cursed us with your app. Cursed? No, my dear, it's a gift. I can see the future, and now so can you. Sarah left Victor's apartment shaken to her core. She couldn't stop the relentless march toward her predicted death date. We have to break this curse, Sarah. We can't let it control our lives. As the group tried to find a way to escape their fate, they discovered a chilling pattern. The app predicted their deaths in the order they had joined the cursed group. It was Sarah's turn. The day arrived, just as the app had foretold. Sarah locked herself in her room, unable to escape the dread that consumed her. The minutes ticked away, each second feeling like an eternity. Sarah, please pick up the phone. We can't lose you too. Silence engulfed the room as the clock struck midnight. Sarah's phone displayed the fatal message. Her friends gathered outside her door, trembling with fear. I love you guys. Remember me. Suddenly, a deafening silence fell upon the room. The app had fulfilled its ominous prediction. The cursed app remained, waiting for its next victim, while the survivors of its relentless curse were left with the haunting knowledge that death's shadow could not be escaped. And so the cursed app continued its dark reign, predicting the deaths of those unfortunate enough to download it, one victim at a time, leaving a trail of horror in its wake.